Welcome to the third video of the four major fundamental concepts of programming. In this video, we're going to be talking about data structures. So what are data structures? Data structures in simple terms is something which can be, which can organize and reuse data. That's a simple definition of what a data structure is. It's something which can organize data which can be reused again and again. So let's say for example, you're organizing a bookshelf and the old fashioned way would be to create, let's say you're organizing a bookshelf and each book that you're organizing, you have a variable for every single part of that book. So you'll have a variable for the book name, when it was published and, and who authored it. And let's say you're organizing, I don't know, a hundred books and you'd have to create a variable, three different types of variables for each book. And in the end of it, you'd have 300 variables that you would need to manage. Now, that would be a very, very inefficient way to write the program that you were trying to organize this bookshelf because you're dealing with 300 variables. And if, you're gonna, if you get confused and you get lost of like or, trying to organize it, and you're just gonna, it's just, it's just gonna be a massive headache. So a better way to organize this bookshelf in this example here would be to use a data structure. So let's look at this data structure example that I've got here. And this, with this data structure example that I've, that I've got here, using a C++ example, what I've got here is that I've created a, a, a book class. So what I'm doing with this book class, which is a data structure that I've created, is to organize this book shelf into, into objects which can be reused again and again. Because with C++, the amazing thing with, with, its, with, its, with its abilities is that it, it can create objects which can be reused again and again. So, in this example, what I've got in this book class is that I've got the book name and then the book author. So, when I use, when I use this class uh, in my code, what I can do is that every single time that I have a new book, what I can do is that I can create a new book object. And then when I create that new book object, I can directly enter in and the name of the book and the name of the author. So I don't have to redeclare a new variable every single time. That's the advantages of using data structures so that we don't have to redeclare variables again and again. And also we can make the program a lot more very robust and reusable. And that's what the point of data, structure, data structures are. To reuse data again and again, which, which has already been organized, and make things a lot more simpler.